So, wow, Arsenal 2, the scum down the road, nil. Now, I don't know whether I was watching Arsenal or whether I was watching Arsenal from 2004. Every single player today was on it from the first whistle and my voice is gone. I've got a cold anyway, but I was screaming at my TV. Obviously, I didn't go today. Um, but yeah, wow, where did that performance come from? And this is what pisses me off time and time again with this club. We've got that performance in us, but we only do it when it's game over, really. You know, today was fantastic. My boss is Spurs, so I'm going to gloat left, right and centre. But is this what it's become? And I don't want to be too negative because, look, we just beat Tottenham. We just battered them. They did nothing. Let's have that right. And on another day couple of better passes in the final third and it could have been five but I just look at it and it just angers me that if we started games with that level of intensity with that level of press we've just made a decent team in Tottenham look absolutely dog shit and that's what we can do we've done it against Chelsea in a cup final uh, we've done it against Chelsea in the Community Shield you know we can do this but why do we only do it once every now and again um, anyway, fuck all that. On to the game itself. Um, like I say, our pressing game in that first half was just next level. They didn't expect that. They were hoofing it long. It kept coming back. Every single player all over the pitch was unbelievable. Crunching tackles. Everybody, we were first to everything. Um, even our crossing was on point today. Some of the crosses we put into that box were brilliant. Um, but yeah, we got the goal. I don't give a toss if it was offside. Don't give a toss if it were, weren't a free kick. Um, all the people that were crying and bitching about Man City's couple of goals the other week that were given to them because of uh, decisions from the referee and the linesman. I bet they're not all whinging today, are they? And that's why I don't whinge over that. Because at the end of the day, it is what it is and it will come back and we'll get it back somewhere else. And we did today. Both of the goals were offside. Um, but we fully deserved the win. So, you know, let's not take anything away from them. I want to mention Ozil as well today. Was that Ozil's twin brother playing? Because that ain't the Mesut Ozil we've seen for the last four and a half years. He was fantastic. And rightly so, he got man of the match. I thought he was the best player on the pitch. And when he turns up and does the defensive side of the game, which I keep hearing people tell me is not what he's about. Well, sorry, that's what football's about. And that is what a team sport is about. You all help each other out. When he does that, like he did today, then with the vision, with the passing that he does possess, he will be brilliant. I've said this so many times, but why does he only do it every now and again? Is that the manager? Is that him? You know, people keep saying it's the system. Load of bollocks. It's the player. The player wanted it today. The whole team wanted it today. And oh look, we absolutely spanked a decent team. You know, the scoreline don't do us justice. That could have easily been five or six. Um, but there we go. I ain't moaning. A win against that lot is fantastic. But it is what it is. We're still miles behind. We're not going to win the title. But for now, it's nice to have bragging rights over that lot. And it's knocked them off their perch a little bit because they started to talk about the tides changed and this and that. And we're going to dominate. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Yeah, good one. You keep telling us we're shit, but no matter how shit we are, we will always be better than you lot. So you see all you Spurs fans that were commenting on my last video, the preview to this, yeah? Going on about this and that, yeah? See if you leave comments today, yeah? Let's see if you leave comments. Probably won't, because you're probably all drowning your sorrows and crying, yeah? Your team are shit. You've got a couple of good players, but basically, <laughs> you're shit. You'll never be as big as Arsenal. Anyway... I'm going to go because I'm struggling to talk. My fucking voice is shafted. So, yeah, a win is a win. Ozil was fantastic. The whole team were fantastic. And I'm going to go and have a couple of beers. Subscribe, like, share. 
follow my Instagram as well, Lee Gunner82, and my Twitter, also Lee Gunner82. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.